Yes. Um, welcome back to Streamlab HQ. Um, in today's video, um, it's going to be a short and very straightforward step-to-step -step guide on how to install the trending umbrella Kodi add-on. Okay. Um, this particular add-on, the umbrella add-on is perfect. It's a perfect choice for people that love TV series and movies. So, um, with that being said, um, I want to also pass this legal disclaimer. Um, I want to say that. Streamlab HQ does not develop, operate, host, distribute, or administer any streaming application, any add on, any website or service. Um, furthermore, we do not determine the legality of any streaming platform reviewed on this channel. So, um, Streamlab HQ specializes in educational tech reviews, tutorials, news, uh, which is protected by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. And the end user is solely responsible for the media assessed and Streamlab HQ assumes that all visitors are abiding by the copyright laws set forth within their jurisdiction. Um, users should only stream works that are not protected by copyright when using unverified st uh, streaming solutions. So with that being said, um, let's jump into the tutorial. The first thing you need to do is to go to settings and click on system, then you click on add-ons, then you click on this unknown sources and check it. Turn it on and click yes. So um, after doing that, you go back to the home page and you click on file manager. Okay. Then um, I'll go, I'm going to click on add source here. I'll double click it. Then I'll click on none. Then I'm going to enter a URL. Um, it is important you don't skip this video because. Um, you might miss out in a, a very important step and the rest of the install, installation guide will not um, be successful on your own. So uh, I'm going to type the repository URL now and I want you to make sure you pay attention. If possible, you can pause the video so that you don't miss out any of the um, URLs. So um, the URL is this. Sorry. Okay. Umbrella plug dot keep so keep on okay. That's I and the media source name. I have to type umbrella here. You can as well use any name of your choice. Okay. Um you are free to use any name of your choice so that when we are installing from zip file you will definitely be easy to you know easily remember the name you used. So I'll click OK. Then I'll go back to the home page. Then I'll click on add-ons, then I'll click on install from zip file. So I'll click on that media source name that we already saved. Mine is umbrella. It depends on what you save the source. Then I'll click on this zip file and allow the installation to complete it. To take a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the strength of your internet connection. Okay. I'll have to pause the video till it's okay it's already uh, installed so i'll go back to install from repository then i'll click on umbrella repository and allow it to open okay so um when it opens i will click on video add-ons okay then I'll choose umbrella. It's still loading. Um, yeah, it's fully loaded now. Click on umbrella and I'll click install. Okay. Then I'll click OK. Um, the downloading and installation might take a while. So guys, um, if at this point and you are finding this tutorial interesting, you are getting value for your time, please, I want you to show appreciation by clicking that, on that subscribe button. That's the only support uh, I, I am asking of you guys right now. And I also want to thank and appreciate uh, all my subscribers. Uh, without you guys, uh, I don't think I'll be here making this video. 
uh, is the encouragement from you guys the love from you guys that is keeping me going and i really appreciate that so i'll pause the video so that i'll uh, so it will be as brief as possible okay um it has been installed so um you can see this uh one in here okay so um this particular add-on the umbrella add-on needs cocoa scrapers to function properly so what i have to do is uh we are going to go back to the home page and install cocoa scraper repository so i wanted to make sure you follow this tutorial the same way i'm doing it so that you're not going to make any mistake while um, doing your own installation so i have to go back to the home page again home page and i'll click on file manager then I'll click on add source so you have to be sure be careful and do it the same way I'm going to do mine so you enter the URL so the URL for the cocoa scraper is https Um, please make sure you enter this particular URL. This exam way I'm going to enter it, and don't make any mistake. Check the spellings. Make sure it tallies with what you have on the screen. And after doing that, you click OK. So for the um, for the file name, the media source name, you can add Coco as the name. And you click OK. So after it's been added, you go back to the home page and click on add-ons. Then you click from you click uh, install from zip file. Then you click Coco and you install this file and you allow it to fully install. You're going to take a um, few seconds to few minutes depending on the strength of your internet connection. Okay. So this is right good it has been installed so we'll click on install from repository okay now we'll click on coco scrapers repository okay then we'll click on program add-ons and we'll click on this coco scraper module okay so when we get to this place um we'll click on install and we allow it to download okay good uh, so the add-on uh, the program add-on uh, for the coco scraper has been installed so um everything is completed now and for you to access the um the umbrella add-on you have to go back to the home page this and you click on add-ons Click on video add-ons and when I click on this umbrella, um, I will, I'll be able to assess the content of the add-on. So guys, um, I think this is where I will, you know, end the tutorial. And if you have not subscribed till this point, please, I will beg of you to help me keep that subscribe button. That's the only support I'm asking from you guys right now. It is the only thing that encourage, uh, encourages me to, you know, do more for you guys. And again don't forget to join our growing community by subscribing now very soon i'll be sharing tips on you know best tv boxes trendy um stuffs that are, that are very lightweight and um, that will reduce you know the loading time that has less buffering and so many other stops so guys um i really want to thank you so much for sticking to the end of this very tutorial and i appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day